time to mow my ditches again for me and my neighbors. It's just too wet down in the ditches to get something down in there. So I decided I would try one of my offset approaches. Today we're showing our sickle mower. I haven't shown it in a long time. Let's get started. offset mowers that you can run on a 1025R safely. I've shown an offset flail mower on there, but it's a uh, it's pretty, pretty big load for a 1025R. Pretty much an offset mower. Now there are some negatives to this mower as well. You can see it. It's, it's, it's not really in cut quality. It does a great job of cutting, but it doesn't do any multiple. See, it just steers the grass right off of the base, and for the most part lays it down right behind it. These mowers were made for hay cutting. That was their purpose. And I say was because most of the time now, people don't even use it for hay. It's a very simplistic design. Actually, this one's a little more complex than normal. On the normal one, you have a, a set of fixed position guards, they call them, that stick out like this, and then you have the cutting sections, which go back and forth. So the cutting knife, it's, the, the whole thing is called a knife. Each individual piece in there is called a section. This one's a little more complex, as I said, because it, the guards move as well as the cutting knife. So they both oscillate back and forth. because it sticks out so far and I want to get right down in the end of it without running it into the bottom of it. Whoops. This one's got a hydraulic lift on the sickle bar. That is a relatively new item as well. People typically have that. Typically have a mechanical lift, manual lift. But I really like the hydraulic lift and that really helps on the tip. Are. Otherwise, you have trouble getting the whole mower off the ground. Now, you can see how muddy the ditch is in there. That's exactly why I didn't want to get in there with another mower. I wanted to show this mower with relatively short grass just to see how it would work and see what it looked like in that situation. I've shown it before in really tall grass where it just lays the grass over. And some folks have said that they just didn't like the look at all, and I thought, well, maybe it'll look a little bit better if, if the grass is shorter. But I'm not sure if it does or not. But as you know, there are compromises with every type of mower. Now, this one's not cheap. Now, you can buy them a real old one. If you do choose to buy an old one, I would recommend like an International Harvester 1300. And, uh, that, that would be the model to choose. Now, I'm just not sure you're going to be able to get it out there in such a dimension by market. Now, this grass that we're laying down behind the door, it'll dry up. In just a few days, most of it will be gone. It really kind of shrinks and disappears over time. You see the new grass going up through it. It really doesn't cause any trouble at all. It just looks different. As you can see the other side of the ditch, we just know where that 12 foot wood turf that way. You can see what a difference it is. Another thing 
other aspect on this floor is the, the danger. It's got totally different type of danger than any sort of a spinning mower. You don't have any risk of objects being thrown. It's, just, it's not going to throw anything. That's, that's not the way it works. But there is still danger. In fact, in some ways there might be more danger with this particular type of mower. The danger is getting your fingers into the knife itself and cutting the finger off. And, and that won't happen typically while you're actually mowing. Rather, it'll happen while you're maintaining the mowing. And it's happened to a lot of people. This type of mower is good for mowing around the pond. It's good for mowing a small amount of hay. We've shown it in earlier videos. Doing a bit of hay for this for our friend Matt. I'm using the Summit Rear Hydraulic Tool to raise and lower the bar here. If you have a manual raise and lower, you won't need any rear hydraulic on your truck. how I would do it, quite frankly, without the hydraulics. That's really allowing me to control the height of this room. This is exactly how I would do it. So this turns out to be just one of many attachments that we can control with that kind of hydraulic kit. It really broadens the usage of our Summit-hydraulics.com slash TCWT and use code TCWT. 5% discount. Now what I do is I raise, if I've got a piece of slope like this, you know, like this piece, I raise the three and then I lower the actual bar. This sickle mower is from Moschio. Moschio Gaspardo. It's just so muddy down in there. This is an example of the dangerous times, right? Put your fingers in there around those sections, those guards. What happens is if you've got the manual fold bar, if you're folding that up, those sections move as you're folding it up. If you happen to get your fingers in there while you're folding it, yeah, that's not good. And then. Typically what you would do at that point is let go and it would come back down. Yeah, let's not talk anymore about that. Well folks, I think this will be the last episode with the Blue X Johnny X. Um, we going to get a makeover. Hopefully next time you see him, he'll be 
all dressed up. New Estes have been a temporary way to show that this is not a stock 1025. Funny thing is, it doesn't matter for this project. Nothing about this project has given the additional horsepower or the additional hydraulic power. You know, Christy, a sickle bar is a, a unique attachment. Yeah. It really is unique. I, I love having one. I wouldn't call it a unitasker. That's one of your favorite words. Uh, it's, it's, it's got several different problems that it solves, but it is somewhat limited in its usages. Yeah, and it would be prettier if it didn't just lay it over, but that's the whole point of it. That's what it's for. Yeah. I could go along and pick all that up, throw it in the gator, but I'm too lazy. Oh my goodness, that would be that more would be work forever, than it's yeah. worth, yeah. Yeah, and again, it will dry up. It's been so wet that we haven't been able to get down in there with the tractor or anything, and this really is a really good option when it's wet and it needs to be done. Obviously, if it grew much more, the neighbors were gonna be complaining. Yeah, there's not many offset approaches that, that truly work well on a subcompact tractor. Right. And this is one. And I like that you could stay up flat yeah. And run it down in there. There's no tipsy feeling because you're flat. Now, if you do have to run on a little bit of an angle, then I would recommend getting the loader on because that'll give you a little more weight. But we have rim guard in the tires. We have wheel weights on the tires. The wheel weights, definitely the left one helps a lot. Although I didn't feel tipsy at all. You don't when you're level, you don't feel tipsy. But if you get, it's more tipsy if you get, if you get on a little bit of a bank. Okay. If you saw this video and you say, that is exactly what I need, you know it. But a bunch of the rest of you are gonna say, oh, that thing's not what I want at all. And we get that. Right, it's I mean, good for the pond. Yeah, it, it's good for pond banks. It's good for ditch banks. Anytime you need to reach out six or eight feet, by the time we got the two foot off of the tractor here, six or eight foot reach from the edge of the tractor. Uh, it's, a, it's a very unique and kind of a fun thing to operate because yeah. it's quiet. It, it doesn't, it's not very loud, doesn't throw stuff, doesn't cause a lot of dust. Yeah, yeah, neither one of us are sneezing from our allergies to the grass. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you're enjoying the green grass of spring. Except for Tom in Arizona, I'm sure he's not enjoying the green grass of no, spring. No, it's just the brown of desert. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time on Tractor, Tractor time, time with Tim. Tim. But he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly Father has not planted will be uprooted. Let them alone. They are blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind leads the blind, both will fall into a ditch.